Hello, sir. Hello, Khatija, and hello, hello to you, students. Today we are doing a very simple experiment, but I want you to have teacher supervision if you want to do this at home, not at home, but at school or any other place of education. Now, we are going to make use of two chemicals. One is, or let me say, two elements to be more precise. Yes. One is going to be magnesium, which is a ribbon like this. You have seen this in some of our earlier experiments. Yes. Khatija will take this magnesium, and another element that we will take is this yellow-colored powder, which is called sulfur. Sulfur. It means we are taking one metal and one non-metal. Precisely. Yeah. Magnesium is a metal. Sulfur is a non-metal. So what are we going to do? We are going to do something which is very basic, and that is called a combination reaction, in which first we will take a piece of magnesium, yes, burn it, and that white ash that will come, we will put it in a test tube yes. and heat it. Yes. And then we will test whether that solution is acid or a base. We will repeat the same thing with sulfur and we will see whether the product obtained is an acid or a base. And to do that, we need the following equipment. We have a wash bottle over here, which contains water. water. This small beaker over here containing this red colored liquid is a universal indicator. It's a very facile and very useful indicator. This is a dropper, which we will use for using a few drops of the indicator. A test tube rack, a test tube. This is sulfur powder. This is a gas jar. A gas jar, students, is used for doing experiments with gases. And, of course, we have got magnesium ribbon, tongs to hold the ribbon. On Khatija's left-hand side, we've got a gas burner, a Bunsen burner. What is this one, and sir? And finally, this. This is a spoon in which we will put a small amount of the material and burn it. And then we use this and introduce it into the gas jar. This spoon is called a deflagrating spoon. So shall we do the experiment? Yes. Sir. In fact, I would like you to do this. Of course. So let us put on our safety goggles first. Students, as sir told, we have to Wear the safety goggles. Conduct this experiment. I'm taking a piece of magnesium ribbon. I'm holding the magnesium ribbon with the help of a tong. Now I must put on my burns and burner. Yeah, it's at correct flame, a non-luminous flame. So I'm going to ignite the magnesium ribbon. So the moment it ignites, yes, we have collected the ashes of magnesium ribbon in a test tubes. That's right. Shake it nicely, and let me just put a little bit more water, yes. and you can heat it for a short while. See, generally students, when you are heating anything in a flame, it is advisable to hold the test tube with your two fingers and thumb and gently go on doing it like this. Do not put the test tube we here. We just need for to a, warm it. Just go on warming it. If not, sometimes what happens is if you suddenly put the test tube without shaking, the water can boil out. Yes. So that is a safety precaution as well as that we will lose our experimental material. Yes. So you can see that we have heated this up. We are dissolving magnesium oxide 
But remember one thing, magnesium oxide is not highly soluble in water. Yes. So it takes some time for all the precipitates that we have got to dissolve. It will take a very long time. But we need just a small quantity to dissolve. Yes. And now we will test this solution with a universal indicator. Yes. An indicator, as you know, will give us a color change. If it is blue, it's we will base. call it a base. If it is red, we will call it acid. So, Khatija, you just hold on to this and I'll help you in adding a few drops of the indicator. All right? Yes. Students, as you can see, the moment we have added universal indicator into the metal hydroxide, we could see a very nice blue color over here. So the nature of this metal is basic. So the nature of this solution is basic. So a co conclusion that can be drawn from this is that when you take metals, metals. heat them in the air, you get what are known oxides. as metallic oxides. oxides. Metallic oxides are also called basic oxides because when they dissolve in water, they give you a base. Yes. Now, does the same thing happen with non-metals? Non -metals. Let us try that. Yes. To perform this experiment, I'm taking a deflagrating spoon. In that, I'm going to take some sulfur. So, we will be ready with our gas jar to collect the sulfur gases. The way you can see over here, I'm going to burn the sulphur. The moment you start igniting sulphur, it burns with a bluish flame. No, don't blow it out. Let it be. Just put it here and let yeah. us close it for a minute. I'm taking the, with the help of this defragrating spoon, we are collecting the gas over here. That is a sulphur dioxide. A small amount of, you can see a little bit of whitish fumes getting collected over here. And that is enough for us to do our experiment. This gas that is being produced is sulfur dioxide gas. It is a very pungent gas and we would like to get rid of it as soon as possible. It's smelling like a cracker, right? Yes. Sir? Generally, when you burn crackers, fire crackers during Diwali time, you get a particular smell. And that is because of sulfur dioxide sulfur that dioxide. is present. Because lot of firecrackers contain sulfur as one of the ingredients. So now let us do one thing. Okay. Just lift it up slightly, please. Close it. Now what we have done here is, we have added a little bit of water over here. And I will shake it up nicely. So this gas will easily dissolve, dissolve in water? Sir? It does dissolve in water. When compared to any metal ashes. Now I would want you to add a few drops of okay, the sir. universal indicator into this and let us see what happens. Wow. What Please, do you see? It is acid. You see that there is a color red Yes, produce. sir. The same indicator, when used with magnesium, gave us a blue, blue color. color like this. And when we are making use of sulfur, yes, sir. and when we heat it and add water to that, we get a red color. Red. Like so what does it mean? That non-metals, yes, when I'm heated, acid. produce oxides which are acidic, acidic in nature. Whereas metals, yes. when they're heated, give oxides which are basic in basic. nature. Now, this is a very basic and a very important thing to remember in chemistry. So, metals give us bases, non-metals non give us acid. acids. That's right. I was about to say acid by mistake, okay. but thank you for correcting me. So, here you can see viewers the different colors. And we would like to get rid of this as soon as possible because the smell is quite yeah. pungent. So I hope you understood of it. Of course, sir. And Thank viewers, you. this is an interesting experiment. 
but you must have a lot of safety precautions and teacher supervision is always advised. I hope you enjoy it.